Okay, so uh, question 15 is another equation jeopardy question. The idea being that we've got some horizontal and vertical x and y component forms of Newton's second law applied to a physical process for an object on an incline. We have to solve for the unknowns, then work backwards and construct a force diagram for the object, and then invent a problem for which the equations might be an answer. So we start by writing out our equations, just so we know what we're dealing with. We'll write it as the uh, the problem set, which is 5.0 kilograms multiplied by AX, which is the acceleration in the X direction. That itself is multiplied by 30 Newtons, sorry, is equal to 30 Newtons, multiplied by the cosine of 30 degrees. Then we add to that a variable N, this is an N for Newtons, it's obviously a force, but it is a variable unknown n. And that's multiplied by the cosine of 90. And finally, from that, we will take off 5.0 kilograms multiplied by 9.81 newtons per kilogram. And we'll cap it all off by saying that this is multiplied by the cosine of 60 degrees. So that is our first equation. The second, very similar, 5.0 kilograms multiplied this time by zero, applying no ver implying no vertical acceleration. And this is 30 newtons multiplied by the sine of 30 degrees. And then we'll add to that n multiplied by the sine of 90 degrees. We can see a commonality between the terms of the two equations. Finally, we subtract from that 5.0 kilograms multiplied by 9.8 newtons per kilogram. And this is multiplied by the sine of 60. Okay, so as before, we'll simplify. Uh, first of all, noting that cos of 90, cosine of 90 is zero, and the sine of 90 is one. So we can at least write that as one rather than uh, sine of 90. And likewise, we're going to express 9.8 as g when we can, just the gravitational constant. This simplifies out our writing a little bit. And so, first of all, we notice this first equation here, and we're going to write that in a much more abbreviated form. So we don't need to note all the significant figures and uh, units at the moment. Uh, we can incorporate those at the end. But uh, for the sake of our equations, we don't have to write out everything. Depends on how confident you are with bringing significant figures back, of course. So we say five times the uh, acceleration in the x direction is going to be equal to the 30 newtons multiplied by the cosine of 30. And this is a known angle. Cosine of 30 degrees is 3 over 2. Uh, we add to that the, nor, uh, the n which is going to be somewhat representative of a normal reaction force. So the variable n multiplied by zero, obviously zero. So that term doesn't exist. And we'll subtract from that 5g. And the cosine of 60, again, a known angle. So we'll say that's over 2. So we've actually got 15 root 3. And we'll subtract from that. Again, you get slightly good at doing arithmetic with 9.81s when you've got a g and 5 uh, multiplied by 9.8 is 4.9 and half that is 24.5. If we pop this into a calculator, basically we get an answer of roughly 0.3. Okay, so we move on to our second part and this time we note that 5 times 0 is going to be 0, so we might as well pull all of our negatives onto the other side in order to solve this one. So the shorthand that we're going to do here is we're going to do 5g sine 60 is equal to 30 sine 30. And then on top of that, we'll add our normal force n. We do really know it's a normal force. 
So, putting these into a calculator, sine 60 is root 3 over 2, sine 30 is a half. So we end up with 49 root 3 over 2, and we'll take from that 15 to give our normal reaction force N. Which, if we again put into a calculator, we find out is 27.4 newtons. And so here are our unknowns now solved. And we know that this problem is on an incline, so we'll do it accordingly. We'll set this on an incline. Um, the first thing to note here is that we're going to have a quick adjustment of our axes. Actually, what we're going to see is our axes are going to be x increasing uphill and y increasing perpendicular upwards from our slope. Our first force is easy if we look at it this way. It's 5g straight down, as we would see straight down, but of course some combination of x and y. And this corresponds to this term here, which is clearly a gravitational term, it's the weight. And the cosine of 60 and the sine of 60 come into play. From this we can realize that this angle is 60 here. And our slope therefore, if we want to talk about the incline, is sitting at an angle of 30. Our normal reaction force, 0 and 1 here, imply completely perpendicular to our frame of reference. So it's purely in the y direction, and so our normal reaction force sits as that. And finally, we have our first force, which is pulling us along. Uh, the 30 newtons, cos 30 and sine 30 here, would imply a 30 degree angle at this point. And this is our, let's call it F, which is just the force that we are using on this incline. Here's the first force noted. So finally, we have to invent a problem. And again, there's lots, especially with an incline, where some weight is trying to pull us down and some normal reaction force is preventing us from descending into the slope. And so the only unknown force is the force F, the first force that is noted here. And this force F is essentially a 30 newtons, and we could talk about pulling, say, a sled up a slope. It would be about 3 kilograms with an angle of 30 degrees on the rope. This would be perfectly valid here. Again, there are lots of options, though. And that is question 15.